before I came to Epis, I knew nothing about aviation. When I met Allen, he had no, I mean, when I say like, you know, no clue about aviation. What I was doing then was to help stabilize the South South region when the issue of militancy was at its highest. God used me to stop the Niger Delta militancy. I did it with my own fault before Shell came in and uh, met me and uh, started partnering us together. We brought militancy to its end through Timia Laibe and Yeradua. This was a man that used his own personal resources to go into the crypts to stop militancy. The piece was born out of the passion for job creation. It's for my reason, I said it that airline. He wants to create employment. Some people come into the business for different reasons, but his own was not about making money. He just wanted to do it, be able to, you know, employ people and then make impact in the society and then leave a legacy. Standing before this behemoth of a dream, Alan had nothing but one rough-edged passion and a sling of faith. With an incredible obsession for youth empowerment, Alan took an aim, fired his shot, and went for the prize. But not so fast, he later realized, as he was met with an army of surprises. Someone told me that going to aviation, that one Boeing 737 jet could give job to 1,000 people. And that wowed me. He went to the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority office to inquire about, you know, starting an airline and all that. And the lady he met there now just pointed out to him that, look, you can do this on your own. You need to meet somebody who is, you know, well grounded in the industry and he's been working as a consultant, helping other people. And then uh, right there, then she gave him my number and then uh, he called. I got engineer Balahan Abato, who is the seasoned aviator and aircraft engineer. He owns his own aviation outfit called Air First. So I got him and employed him as my consultant. I contracted him. So he was the one that taught me everything I knew in aviation. I didn't even know what cycle meant. Cycle means landing. All I had was my passion. The passion was so strong. When we started, I had the mind that, okay, the first lesson you have to go through primary school and then get to secondary school he said no 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 i want to go straight to secondary school i said in aviation if you do that it is you know it's more or less like a, a, a disaster he said what is it what is it and i told him i said if you're going to start we will start with a charter company that means we'll get this size of aircraft small aircraft that can take like 10 12 people and then you run the charter business for one year, I will be there with you. Is that a charter? I said, and then your overhead will be low. You only get like maybe to employ uh, four pilots or, you know, at least two pilots to one aircraft and then maybe one or two cabin crew. And then that, that's it. So you will be able to master the game. He said, no, with what you've told me, I think I, I know what to do. And then I want to, I want to go for it. He took me, we went to London. Went to France, bought my first jet. It happens to be a Donia 328 jet. Then we went to Germany the same week and bought another Donia 328 jet from the factory itself. You know, Donia is a German product. So from there, we went to the US to see Douglas Jaffe, an American billionaire who buys planes in hundreds and sells in hundreds, bought another Donia 328 jet. And we returned to London. And I told Bolaho, so that means these three jets could give 3,000 jobs. Bolaho said, no. <laughs> Who told you that? That was our first misunderstanding. We got talking. He said, okay, let's, uh, let's talk about this aircraft. So I now explain, please. When I now told him what this would do, and then he had to, they said, no, 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 let's go straight. I want to do a full blown airline where I will be able to employ, you know, thousands of people. I said, that will be a lot of load on you. And you're going to be, you know, working with different characters of people and pilots, pilots and engineers alone. Managing them is a nightmare. I said, well, if you are ready to do it, no problem. I could see on his face, he wasn't happy. <laughs> I was angry. And I said, this was a lot. I told him, he, he couldn't believe. He couldn't believe that I was that angry. I mean, every, I followed the mood in my house in London. I was making food for both of us. 
uh, we kept straight faces. I was very moody because that defeated what I was planning. He said, no, these are for private tatters. He was, I said, this is not what I want. This cannot create the jobs I'm looking for. He said, then you want to go into a full-blown airline? I said, yes, that's what I want. He said, in that case, you might need the 737s, but this is a very risky business. It's not profitable at all. And then it's not profitable. I said, but you can create jobs. He said, yes, you create jobs, but you can go down easily. I said, but if it's well managed, I will not be able to go down. And I told him, I said, don't worry, relax. We'll go for it. He said, okay. Instead of coming back to Nigeria, we went back to the United States from London. And then we got this bigger aircraft. And then he became happy from that moment that we met the people that we bought the aircraft from in the U.S. And then uh, we, at first, we bought four of those airplanes. And then I saw that, yes, this man is ready for this journey. I just have to, you know, buckle up and walk with him so that I would not kill his spirit. As at that time in 2014, our maintenance technical stores were brimming with parts to the tune of over 12 billion naira. Yet, I was not given AOC, Air Operators Certificate. That's the license you need to start operating. So one night, myself and my wife, we woke up and we said, well, what are we going to do? So let's shut down. I started crying. I wept that night. My manager then was Bumi. So I called her in the night around 2 a.m. I said, prepare, call all the staff, send mails to every staff to report at the office tomorrow in the morning that we'll be shutting down APs. They are not giving us AOC, therefore we have to close it down and go elsewhere. Hi, the girls started crying. He said, sir, please don't do that. I said, what else do you want us to do? In the morning, by the time we got to the office, NCAA directors were in my office, led by the acting director general of NCA, Engineer Benjamin Adeleka. When I became the acting director general of the Nigerian Civil Division Authority, probably known as NCAA, one night, I received a call from one of my colleagues. This is Julie. And he just told me that night that there is an issue that the airline, which has not started, is about to shut down. And that the chairman, Dr. L.M. Oyema, was trying to sack everybody at that night so that they can move the operation out of the country. I was aware that they had seven aircraft ready to come in. So that very night, make a phone call to all my directors and I said 8 o'clock we meet in their lineups I don't think anybody believes that and like a joke 8 o'clock we showed up at their office not me somebody there to my office when I came in that morning staff were all over the place I went upstairs with swollen eyes after nights of crying we sat down started querying his people so what of this what is wrong with this how can you afford this? I looked into what happened. I wasn't really, really happy about what I saw. And uh, I got really emotional about it. And I now gave everybody a matching on that this AOC is going to happen. That was how they got their AOC in short. That was what made us together. Without Engineer Adelika, there may not have been an APIS today. Alan defiantly signed his name in the skies, secured a spot in the sun, and air peace aggressively roared into our consciousness with a majestic appeal. And as far as he's concerned, the force behind air peace is gold standard. Fidelity is an example of how things should be done. As at the time they believed in APs to invest in aircraft acquisition. No bank in this country, quote me, no bank in this country did that or would have done that. But Fidelity trusted because they believe in creating wealth for the country. When Alan shared his dreams with us, we went into a partnership with him. We provided value. We provided advisory services. We provided support. We were there from APs. Fidelity has never come after me to harass me, we created a sinking fund. Sinking fund means at the end of bus every business day, a particular amount of money flows into the account. This sinking fund 
I should not have access to it because he has a degree. He didn't want to be reminded that he needed to pay for his obligation when they were due. So he sets up a sinking fund account. Every day is maintained a specific amount. It is his account, setting it aside against repayment of obligation that will be due in the future. Fidelity is doing the rebanking in this country because my staff, the staff of APIS, we have over 4,000 staff, borrow money from Fidelity just because you are a staff of APIS and this is done abroad. And when you are a salary person, you can afford to go to your bank and take a small loan and they'll be drawing down from your salary gradually. This is what Fidelity does for the public. And it should be said, he believes so much in Fidelity. It has been Allen, Epis, and Fidelity all the way. Fidelity is very proud to have supported Epis over the years. I must say that we are grateful to Fidelity. And uh, I encourage any serious businessman in this country to approach Fidelity. I'm not doing an advert for them. What you are seeing today, without God Almighty, that brought fidelity to work with us, maybe it may not have happened. So I encourage every other business concern in this country to look the way of fidelity. They will support your business. In aviation, there is no enemy greater than a lack or shortage of safety. This enemy has buried more aviation dreams than we could ever imagine possible. Alan understood this when he set sail with the Air Peace Dream. Today, there are very few airline companies in the world that can come anywhere close to the extreme safety standards that Air Peace operates out of Nigeria. Let me tell you this. I have flight phobia. And my wife has flight phobia. When setting up Air Peace, I decided to take the issues of safety very, very serious. I went for the best maintenance organizations in the world. You have a snag on an airplane. And there's, well, there's a book. Um, we call it an MEL. And the MEL says, oh, the airplane is good to fly for another, let's say it's a category A, B, C, or thereabout, another 10 days. The airplane can fly for the net piece. Rather than wait for those 10 days, Air piece is like, especially by chairman, I want this thing fixed. There was the engineers make sure everything is fixed before the expiry 10 days. Even though the books, Boeing, the manufacturers say, oh, you can use this for the next 10 days, you know. But he says it can be fixed. It should be fixed now, now, now. One day, we're at the management meeting. I got the information that the maintenance planner, the person in charge of the ERJ, Plans, the RG145, the 50 star jets, made this mistake. We didn't raise a particular work order and covered it up. We interrogated him who sent you to do this. There's nobody that uh, in the team, it was minor, it's not something that affects safety. I said, No. Tell me, have you done it on other aircraft? He said, No, that if I had done it, I would have been discovered. Me as a lay person, the engineers were telling me that no, it was only that person because the system got it. I didn't believe. Some of these aircraft, some were in Banjul, some flew to Sierra Leone, some all over Nigeria and Africa. I grounded them immediately. It's not something I say at all. They should contact our regulators. Is it true that this man grounded eight planes in one day and sent them back to Europe abroad to, for the, all the planes to be opened up all over again to make sure nothing happened? And that cost 20 something million dollars. So, Strict adherence to safety is our number one goal. Safety is total to him. Absolute total. When it comes to safety, the chairman, Dr. Alan Oyema, does not cut corners. He ensures that the aircrafts are checked daily by the maintenance department. I flew for an airline based in Gatwick, the same Gatwick, a cargo airline. We are based out of Gatwick. I was there for 12 years, European airspace, UK. And you have this snack for 10 days, category A, B, or thereabout. And they're like, oh, okay, we have time. We still fly the airplanes like that. But in that piece, it says, no, I need it to be fixed right away. When it comes to maintenance culture, you can rest assured we have the best in that piece. On the 30th day of August 2023, after years of intense scrutiny, 
After years of beating odds and bureaucratic bottlenecks, our very own Air Peace Airline received the third country operator authorization to operate a daily direct flight from Lagos to Gatwick, London. Something that you've thought that was a dream, all of a sudden, you're seeing it come to life. It was really a joyous moment for all of us at Air Peace. Thank God for Dr. Allen, who will not take no for an answer. Because uh, Dr. Allen is working with a team of professionals, we are all able to like meet up with every requirement they wanted. Something that is known now, the struggles we went through to get here. Thanks be to God, we are present daily flies into Gatwick. Initially, we were looking towards Heathrow, but we were giving Gatwick. But I tell you what, it's a blessing in disguise. A big milestone for Air Peace. It's a big milestone for Nigeria. I was on that plane that very day. You know, when you have a dream and you bring it to reality, you know, the, the joy you feel inside you is, is something you can't describe. Of course, I joined that flight, that inaugural flight. It was awesome. Very exciting. You have local delicacy. You have people smiling. You have people happy. A few days ago, I flew into Gatwick on Air Peace and flew out. The commendations from the passengers, you could see it in their faces. They were so happy. When they got on board, because I stood by the door to welcome most of them, we got on board, they were so happy. You know, that's for the food. Oh boy. I had to take in Ofada rice with the Ofada sauce. And it was something else, you know. We're looking forward to Abuja Gatwick or Abuja Intro directly. We're looking at coat sharing. Where somebody will buy ticket from Enugu or Weary to New York. With Dr. Oyema taking the bull by the horn, getting in there, clearing the bush. The bush now has come to open field. This is going to boost aviation in Nigeria. Mark it down. I wouldn't even call it Alan Oyema's airplane or Alan Oyema's company. I call it my company, your company. It's a Nigerian. It's owned by us Nigerians. Because we are so proud and happy that, oh, we are flying in our, our own aircraft. This right here is what compulsive, obsessive patriotism looks like in human form. We love your passion, Dr. Allen. You've made us to believe in ourselves. We don't want you to stop what you're doing. He should continue doing what he does best. I wish him good health to be able to drive the force called air piece. should continue to do what he's doing, we all appreciate it, especially the pilots. He has caused a lot of disruptions. It should never be discouraged. We will continue to support him as a bank and I will ask him to continue to hold on to what he believes in. We definitely see a very bright future for the airline. You just have to remain strong, disciplined, steadfast and professional. We look forward to celebrating several milestones in the future. He has just got into the sky. And the sky is the beginning. He has to touch the moon. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't get too emotional. Machuna Lewayo said, If records refuse to be broken, shatter them. This is what Dr. Alan Oyema and the Air Peace family have done. As for the rest of us, we shall collectively propel Air Peace to greater milestones. Because after all, Air Peace has become a Nigerian project.